What's up YouTube? Charmin Soft here bringing you a Dying Light video of epic proportions. I'm going to show you how to get the Korik Machete in Dying Light. Now this weapon is actually like an easter egg. It's actually a developer weapon it appears to be. And it is beast. I'm telling you it's so powerful it's ridiculous. But right here that's your main starting safe house that everybody's familiar with. And you need to go all the way up north here. And you're going to want to go to this complex that I just put a marker on. You're going to need to get on the building of that complex. And it's a little tricky so I'm going to show you how that's done too. Now, once you're at the complex, you're going to see a lot of zombies usually, and you want to get out to the front of the building. And when you're out to the front, you're going to jump the front gate, and you're going to get into this courtyard. Now, you're pretty safe right here. You ain't got to worry about much. So go ahead, and you're going to want to get onto that AC unit right there. Now, on this AC unit, it's a little tricky to kind of get up this building. So the best thing I've found is to kind of shimmy all the way to the right of the AC unit, and you're going to want to get onto this light right here. Also, you want to try to make sure your arm is reaching out because it takes a while, guys. I mean, like, I fell a lot of times trying to get onto that light, so practice makes perfect. You know, you're not going to get it the first time, or maybe you do, and that's good, but I didn't. So just go ahead and just keep trying to jump towards that light so you get up there and then scale the rest of the building. Now, this is the path that I chose to go. You could use my path or you could use a different route, but this is the way I did it, and I found it quite easy from this point on. And when you get up to the next tier, you can't just jump straight onto the roof. You know, you're going to see right here, I try to jump, but it just doesn't work. So you go need to turn around and kind of get on this little ledge right here. Don't fall off. When you get on this little ledge, then you're going to jump back and you are going to get onto the roof. Now, if you're a person like I am, you're going to end up searching everything. So we'll take a check second here just to kind of show you what's up here. You know, I'm going to go from door to door and little chests and everything like that. Get a couple of little items, little doodads and whatnot, which is not bad because, you know, you can always use these items for crafting. So that's always a plus. That's why I tend to scavenge and search every single thing. But the Easter egg chest, the thing that you're actually looking for for the Korik Machete is actually on this roof. So just bear with me here. You can see, look, aerosol can. Items are items, guys. I'll take anything and anything if it's not bolted down. So that's why I take your time to go ahead and search everything. So go ahead and get a little bit, a couple more spots to search. And now this section right here, actually remember this spot, that right corner of satellite dish. That's going to be important because that's your way to get off of this roof. So here we go. Last chest. I'm going to open this up. Give me a couple of nails. That's always good. Some coffee. Check the last door. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you the actual Easter egg. So after I check this door, can't open it. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to jump up here. And you're going to see right in between where those crates are, on this wall, there's pink Easter bunnies painted on it. And there's this little chest right underneath them. So I'm going to make this look easy. I'm going to make it kind of go fast. I'm going to cut the clip. But you're going to actually be kicking this chest for about a good, honestly, two to three minutes straight. It's not going to open right away. So be prepared to be standing here kicking this chest for a while. But once you kind of get this chest opened up, you will get a blueprint okay, inside it, which has the Korik Machete blueprint. Now, this machete, I'm telling you guys, is an absolute beast. I mean, check this out. Look at the description right here. It even says, Developers like to cheat when playing their own games. Korik lets you have everything under control, and that's his tool. I mean, that says it all right there. Developer weapon, in my opinion. And look at the damage on this thing. 500 is the damage? That's unbelievable, guys. I'm telling you, this weapon will cut through anything. I absolutely love this weapon. You guys are going to love it too. I know it. So after you've got your blueprints, then you're going to need to go scavenge your materials. You need 10 alcohol and 20 pieces of metal. So let's go ahead and get off the roof. Like I said, that back right corner, you're going to be by that satellite dish and you will find these trash bags. Go ahead, get to the edge and take yourself a leap of faith. Boom. That easy. Now you're off the roof. You're not injured. And it's time to go scavenge. Now, I might have scavenged for about, I don't know, a good 20 minutes to a half hour before I had all the materials I needed, the 10 alcohol bottles and the 20 pieces of metal. It doesn't take very long to get everything you need to make this weapon. But now that I've got everything, let's go ahead and craft it out. And I'm going to show you how this puppy performs. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. And if you look, the damage is not exactly 500 right now. But this weapon actually has four upgrade slots. So you can go ahead and just have at it with this weapon and upgrade it as need be. And watch this. Wow. I mean, check that out, dude. This weapon, it just cuts through people like butter and heads will roll literally as you just saw right there. But I'm not going to sit here and loot too much. I need to show you guys exactly how this weapon works. 
I mean, look at this. It just slices right through them. Nothing stands in the way of the Kareek machete. You can just take out anything and everybody. I mean, God, look at this thing. It's just tearing people up. I'm loving it. I've actually even got, like, two zombies standing side by side and decapitated both of them at the same time. This weapon is unbelievable. You guys need to go ahead and get this weapon. I'm telling you. I mean, check this out. Here's a little alley full of zombies. We're just going to tear into these guys like there ain't no tomorrow. Nothing, like I said, will stop this weapon. It's a beast. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the clip. Don't forget to subscribe and slap that like button down below. And feel free to comment and follow me on Twitter for all my YouTube updates. I'm Charmin Xoff saying... Y'all come back now, you hear?